cry me a river Cause now you are one make my diva You give me fever, check out my reader I wanna eat you for breakfast and dinner The way you move it on me to see now Beside you I feel like the wiener Nothing like the rest I like the way you get dressed Oh mona you be the best, best Oh mona you be the best, best Nothing like the rest I like the way you get dressed Oh mona you be the best, best Oh mona you be the best, best Everybody love it This my paradise. So here Here I I am, here I I am, here I I am. So here I I am, here I I am, here I I am. am. We love you. You can really do better than that. O'Neill, O'Neill Noah. Et où est-ce qu'il est, Kevin? Kevin? Kevin Fasso.
the rest. I like the way you dress. I'm one of you be the best, best. I'm one of you be the best, best. Everybody love me. Me, I want to love them. Why? Because it was a girl that was born when I was 14. I went to the hospital. I saw my sister. I looked at the baby. I thought that it was a toy. She was so pretty. And I asked my sister, can you give me a baby? Out of blue, she just said yes. And I thought that it was a joke. She gave me the little girl. And I took the little girl in my hand. And I think she knew exactly what she was doing. She knew she was giving me a baby that was going to be very easy for me to handle because I was just 40. I had a baby that never cried, never complained, always clean. But what I did with her is I used her as a toy. I used to give this little girl three baths a day. Changing her dress three times a day, always looking like she was going to church. Thank you, Stephanie, that you gave me that opportunity to be a mother when I was 14. But what I have to remind people here today is they haven't seen the really truth of who is Stephanie. Woo! Good noise. Go ahead, Judith. The little girl that surprised me every day. As you see her, very classic, beautiful. But it's a girl that knows how to dirty her hands. She knows how to clean the house. She knows how to dress. She knows how to cook. And she knows how to go crazy like I do all the time, dancing. <laughs> Steve, all I have to tell you tonight is just one thing. You didn't do a mistake. And it will never be a mistake. I'm asking you one thing. It's just a small favor. Believe her. You will never fail. I love you both. And God bless. Thank you, my sister. Judith Fomo in the house. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, thank you. And now I will give the mic to Larry Lumsi. Well, good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Larry Lumsi. And uh, the first thing is, uh, I like to acknowledge our pretty, pretty bridesmaids, gorgeous ladies, and also uh, the bride, Stephanie, absolutely stunning. Please, everybody, give a hand for Stephanie. She, prettiest girl in the whole world tonight. Looks really good. Congratulations, Stephanie. Um, so, Steve and I have been friends for uh, 17 years now. And so for 17 years, I've been looking forward to the day I'm going to talk to his wedding. Talk at his wedding. So there's, I have so, there's so many things in my mind, you know, I, and I've, I'm, going to try, I'm going to try to condense everything, and I'm going to try to make sure this speech is under 30 minutes. Okay, so 30 minutes. Not more than that. No, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. All right, all right, so first thing is, uh, you know, first things first, uh, I'd just like to thank God for making this wonderful union happen. And uh, also, uh, the fifth commandment is the only commandment of the Ten Commandments that comes with uh, a promise attached to it. Uh, the fifth commandment is, honor your father and your mother, and your days in the land I'm giving you shall be very long. So I'm going to start by acknowledging uh, Papa Richard and Maman Odette for uh, making this wonderful evening happen. Uh, they are blessed to have parents like you. Of course, uh, 
Papa Edouard and uh, Mama Clotilde, who could not be here tonight, uh, we're also thinking a lot about them. And you know, I know they are also working and we're gonna have a very good continuation to this. Uh, so, steve -O, Steve, 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 my man, Steve. Uh, you know, to be very brief, uh, I've known, like I said earlier, I've known Steve for 17 years. He's an incredibly smart guy, an incredibly generous guy, an incredibly driven guy. He's, uh, like, you know, the way I, when I look at the way he thinks about his family, the way he thinks about his siblings here, the way he's caring and loving and God-fearing, he's, uh, he's an incredible friend. He's an incredible brother. There is no doubt in my mind that he's going to be an incredible husband and by the grace of God, an incredible father one day. As for Stephanie, I've been, I have been extremely impressed with Stephanie since meeting her. She is very smart, very well educated, as well as her siblings. I've been impressed with really all of them. They're all really well educated. They're all really well, you know, again, credit to the parents for that. But Stephanie, on, on top of being pretty, she's very well, be, well, be, very well behaved. She's a great dancer. I hope she can give my man some lessons. He's pretty good himself, but you know, Stephanie puts the bar really high. And uh, I couldn't be happier to see my brother. Steve is not my friend, Steve is my brother. And I couldn't be happier to see Steve with such a wonderful lady. We love you guys. We are cheering for you guys. We'll always be there for you guys. God bless you guys. Have fun. Thank you, Larry. That was Larry Lumsi. I thank everybody for being here tonight. Um, this is a, a dream moment for me since I got uh, married to uh, Stephanie's mom. Uh, I was always dreaming to one day pass to my children what I have experienced in my life, meaning a beautiful couple uh, living in peace uh, with a value of uh, respect, hardworking, and uh, transparency, integrity, communication. And I'm sure that uh, for Stephanie, for seeing me live myself that type of life, I'm not scared at all. Uh, Steve, my daughter, will never disappoint you. <laughs> I'm very, very confident. I know what she's capable of. And I saw you too, Steve. You are a wonderful, wonderful boy. Please just love each other, respect each other, and be sure that there will be a time that you will be in a dark side of your life. But it doesn't mean that it will always be dark. At that time, you need to show your love for each other. Um, marriage is like life you see every day we have sun and after the sun we have moon and the dark so just be patient if something happened that you didn't want it to happen please make the holy spirit be here tonight take you guys through your journey and i wish everybody a wonderful wonderful uh, night here Thank you. Merci, merci. Papa Richard Fassu, merci. Vous avez intérêt à entendre les conseils et écouter les conseils du papa. Hein? Parce que ce sont des conseils qui sont très importants. Très, très, très importants. Good advices. Now I will call Wilfried Mofford, the brother of uh, Steve Mofford. Hello, hello. All right, good evening, everyone. 
Uh, clearly, I can't be as eloquent or as kind as uh, Papa Richard has, so I have a tough act to follow. I'm also not married, so I don't have advice to give the married couple. Uh, I'm representing here the Mofo family uh, because dad wasn't able to make it uh, up here and he gave me a few words to pass on to everyone. Firstly, he wanted to thank uh, this large group. Obviously, uh, this group means a lot to us, uh, the union of Steve uh, and my new sister, Fanny, is really important to all of us. Uh, a word to the couple uh, from dad and from us, the brothers. As uncle said, it's not always going to be bright, uh, but good news is you have a whole host of people who are cheering for you. We, your brothers, are cheering for you, all of the groomsmen, all of the ladies, everyone here, 200 plus, are cheering for you. So whenever you need to, come to us and we'll be glad to help. So the group coming here, uh, we want to welcome you. Uh, it's going to be a special evening for all of us. Uh, Steve, our elder brother, is kind of showing us the way forward. Uh, Fanny, uh, I met you a long time ago, and we are happy to have you in the family. You're a very special girl. You're special to us. You're special to our hearts. You became a sister instantly, and thank you for everything. We are sure Steve is not going to disappoint you. We are sure you're not going to disappoint Steve. We're glad to help and we love you very much. Bye. -bye. Merci, merci Wilfred. And I will come to you, Steve and Stephanie, for your speech. Steve and Stephanie Mofor, que je vous demande, mesdames et messieurs, de bien vouloir applaudir. Alors, chez nous, j'aurais donné le micro, parce que les hommes sont quand même euh, importants, ils ont une place très importante. Hein. J'aurais donné le micro d'abord à l'homme, au monsieur. I will give first the mic if it was in Africa. But hey, we're in America, right? So I will give this mic to my sister, to start. Hi, everyone. How we feeling? That's what I like to hear. I want to first thank God um, for having allowed everything to happen from the moment I met Steve to tonight. And um, I just know that without him, we um, would not have been able to surmount all the challenges that we have had so far. And we, would not have, we wouldn't have had all the support that we do have. Um, and so first and foremost, he's the one I want to thank first. Um, for everything that he's given us. And I want to welcome you guys here. I am so very excited and thankful to have you. Um, and I hope you're going to have an amazing night. We worked very hard to show you a good time, and hopefully that's what's going to happen. Good evening, everyone. Standing here in front of you today, I'm, om I'm almost speechless um, to finally be able to make this beautiful young lady my wife. It's a dream come true. And I have a few people here present tonight who can testify to my first reactions when I stepped foot into Los Angeles and I laid my eyes on Stephanie Fasunulahu. It's been years of a lot of commitment, a lot of growth, learning and enjoying and growing spiritually and together. And today, I want to take a couple of minutes to say thank you to each and every one of you. I mean, when we look around the room, we see people from all over the world. Europe, Africa, Asia, you can name it. So we are very, very grateful for your presence. And 
we promise you we have a lot in store for you. Thank you all. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Steve. And Stephanie, you started by something very important. Just before you, you, you just make your speech, you talk about God. There's nothing that we can do without putting God first. He's our light. He's our guide. He's our father. Without him, there is nothing we can do. And we have to put him first, even tonight, before we go and put our dancing shoes before we put the belt and eat good food and have fun, we have to pray. Amen? Amen? We all believe in God here, no matter the name we are calling him. He's just our father. So I'm going to call Pastor Bryce. Pastor Bryce Kemley. I hope he's here. Pastor Bryce Kemley to come to pray and bless the food. Pastor Bryce Kemley. Thank you. Hello, everybody. How are we doing tonight? Good. It's an honor to stand here and to witness this wonderful journey just about to unfold. Um, you're on a good track. It's a wonderful thing to be married. Can I hear an amen in the house? Yeah. Can I hear an amen in the house? Yeah. It's a wonderful thing. So we thank the Lord for that. And um, I want to start by saying this before I pray for the food. Is there any couple in the house that have been married for, let's say, 20 years? All right. Okay, I'm going to go to 30 years. 30 in the house? I say, yeah, I hear yes. 30 years? Can you stand? 30 years. No, I'm serious. 30 years? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now I'm going to stretch. How about 35 years? 35 years? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. No? No? Okay. 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Can you stand, please? Can you please stand? Please, I insist. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. And the reason why I'm saying that tonight is because I want to prophesy in your life. You will beat 60 years in Jesus' name. Yeah. You will beat 60 years in Jesus' name. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Why don't we stand on our feet? Thank you so much. Thank you. Why don't we stand? Let's bow our head. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come in this place as you are celebrating this wonderful thing that you yourself have instituted. This marriage thing we are talking about he has not been the invention of humankind. See, Father, we have invented cars. We've invented machines, robots. We even go to the moon. But you yourself have invented marriage. We bless you for such a night that we are here to celebrate what you have started yourself since day one. For you said in Genesis chapter 2, it is not good for man to be alone. Thank you for this wonderful couple we have come to witness this wonderful start as we pray all witness tonight that it shall be well with them in Jesus' name. And as we also pray that their marriage shall be long and long and enjoyable in Jesus' name. Father, as we are about to eat, my Lord, bless the food. Bless everything about this night. Be the center of it all tonight. 
as we assign angels to be with each of us here and in particular to be with your children Steve and Stephanie they are blessed in the morning they are blessed in the noon time they are blessed in the night they are blessed today they are blessed next year they are blessed in the next 10 years. They are blessed with over 60 years of marriage. And we will be very soon hearing cries of children in the home from Stephanie and Steve. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor Kemley. And may God bless you too. I'm so proud for that children. I say congratulations for you people. And to God, I will ask this. Excuse me, I will say it in French. Oh, my baby, say qu'il veut un centre. Baby, a père sans trop grand. Il faut de leurs ampoules des larmes qui traduisent leur silence. Oh, my baby, say qu'il veut un centre. Baby, a père sans trop grand. Du fond de les ampoules de l'amour qui traduisent la silence. Que leur vie soit une fleur, un parfum pour toi, Seigneur. Que leur vie soit une fleur, un parfum de bonne odeur. Devant toi, il se répand. Fais des petits pour toi. Devant toi, il se repend. Fais de ce que tu veux. Comme la gile devant les potiers, donne-leur la forme qui te plaît. Fais toutes choses en ton temps. Ils seront toujours confiants. Seigneur, observe leur voix. Garde-les au pied de ta croix. Ils voudraient habiter chez toi tous les jours ici-bas. Que leur vie soit une fleur, un parfum pour toi, Seigneur. Que leur vie soit une fleur, un parfum de bonne odeur. Devant toi, ils se répandent.